Hi ho friends, it's Michelle with the weekly meltdown and this is a weekly video where I give you thoughts on what I've melted in my home. Today or this week we are talking about retail and vendor wax non -sensi. I've got Rose Girls, L3, Destination Wax, Bath and Body Works, and Homeworks to talk about today. The most Probably is L3, but it's a lot of um, mostly sample uh, from the samplers. So let's talk about those first, I suppose. I have Cashmere Plum Cranberry Marmalade Warm Vanilla Sugar. And this was in the little scent shot um, sampler for Cranberry Marmalade. I was really hoping it was like Cranberry Chutney from Yankee. So this with that cashmere plum and warm vanilla sugar was a great bedroom scent uh, definitely that sweet plum and cranberry in there but it had that you know kind of body care so it made a great melt I might would buy this one again but it's not a love but it's not a dislike either I enjoyed it it did well um, for about a day and then we've got Apple Pumpkin Shrusel Cranberry Marmalade. So again, from that same sampler, scent shot sampler. This one definitely had a heavy streusel note, like which I'm taking as almost like a cinnamon sugar in there with just a little bit of apple. I would say I probably get streusel then apple and then cranberry out of this one not up my alley but only because i'm not necessarily a bakery lover and the streusel is what to me to my nose what jumped out the most and i did one more scent nope two more scent shots uh vanilla pumpkin marshmallow cranberry marmalade so again with the cranberry marmalade uh scent shot sampler so this is nice however the lid was broken um i don't know that that had anything to do with the poor performance of this one or if it's because i can hardly smell vanilla <laughs> scents for some reason um maybe that marshmallow and vanilla together just kind of muted everything else for me um, yeah, so I can't really give my thoughts on that one. I don't smell much at all. Maybe a touch of pumpkin. I mean like teeny tiny. Not even enough to give thoughts on. And then I have Sweet Lavender Mac Apple Pie Crust. Now this one was in the, I think I did a lavender. Or maybe I bought this on its own. I don't remember. I may have bought a lavender scent shot sampler. But this was almost body care um and it all it smelled familiar to me too it had a leather leather a lavender apple scent um i don't know that pie crust is really in there or maybe that's what's kind of making it body care to me i really enjoyed this one as well i might would try this again in the future I wouldn't knock it if it ended up in another sampler I purchased for sure. And this was a free sample of Hearsay. Uh, so I don't know the notes in this, but I will say it's a very nice, almost like a cologne. Kind of an aquatic cologne. I enjoyed it. I, I would probably try this one again as well. Medium Performer. And <clears throat> this is a sample that I got from, I think, from uh, one of my YouTube buddies. This is L3 Waxy Wonders Ozone. Ooh, let's see if I can get that to focus. Ozone. And it was, yeah, this was from um, Dice's 19 Hearts. I will try to remember to link her channel below. Go check her out. This was just a few uh, pieces from a Trig Tart from L3 and the strangest thing so I put the pieces in the bathroom 
um, the hall bath that gives me trouble because it's close to the AC intake and it's where all the air flow. Anyway, it's a hard to scent bathroom is what I'm getting at. But it did not disappear. I definitely smelled this scent and oddly enough, it smelled a lot like the Rose Girls Speechless does to me, which is, um, ooh, do I have one in front of me here? No. Don't have one for the scent notes. Um, like Coastal Kale, I think there may be some rain. Anyway, so Ozone to me from L3 smells like Speechless from Rose Girls. I don't know. It's what my nose says. Uh, another sample from L3, Beach Nights. I mean, this is a classic, right? It's marshmallow and like a bonfire or something, isn't it? Anyway, very nice. I enjoyed it. It did not last very long, though, but again, it could be kind of that marshmallow note in there that dampens the, the, the scent for me. And now, another sampler. Apparently, I was going through a lot of samples. F Fruit Butte. I, I don't know what this is supposed to be. And I don't know the scent notes either, but it was nice, and I would try it again. I wonder if I... I should have gotten my computer hooked back up to the internet. I don't know why. Okay, well, never mind on that. Whatever this is, I like it, and I will buy it if I see it again. You get the point. All right. Now, Mac Apple Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale. Yes, yes, yes. I loved this one. The combination is seems odd when I read it, but melting, it was terrific. Not, not an edible, not woodsy, not fruity. It was like it created this new category. <laughs> Very nice. I love that blend. And then I did some trick tarts in vanilla pumpkin mallow, which is vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, of course. Sorry, I'm trying to, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I love vanilla pumpkin marshmallow pretty much from any vendor. It's almost a body care type um, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow scent. I do get pumpkin, but it is super creamed out and sweetened up by that marshmallow. And my, ha my favorite hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works is um, pumpkin marshmallow latte or something very similar to this scent. All right, one from Lavender and Speckles. I, strawberry balsam. This is sweet strawberry and balsam fir. And unfortunately, in the warmer, I used the entire bunt. This is one of the small bunt things in a 25 watt Scentsy Spider-Man warmer. So it's a good performing warmer in the smallest bedroom in the house. And I couldn't smell a thing. Um, even here in the bag right now, I, I don't really smell anything. Maybe a little waxiness. So I'm wondering if the strawberry Oil is just one of those strawberry oils that comes off as waxy to me, not necessarily strawberry. It's the only thing I can think of why I couldn't smell that. When I first got it, I could definitely smell it. Okay. Oh, one more L3. My bad. Leaves Cranberry Chutney Orange Peels. I love this scent. I have repurchased it. <laughs> And I will repurchase it when I run out. It is a great performer. This is my first experience with scoopable wax. I kind of have mixed feelings about it. Um, 
it's it seems to carry scent well so that's good and oh, I just love this scent it's such a good bright combination um, but yeah I'm liking scoopable wax it's not my favorite form of wax but um, yeah, I mean, it works. I just don't like the little, the messiness with the spoon and, you know, then having to get it off into the dish. You can't see my hands, but I'm making the little motions. <laughs> All right. Destination wax. I did two, and I just put these in yesterday, I think. Um, I did Frozen Frozen, which is cold menthol plus essential oils of eucalyptus and peppermint. <clears throat> and I did frozen clementine, which is frozen frozen plus orange, lemon, clementine, grapefruit, tangerine, and bergamot. Love these for when we're feeling a little congested. Even kind of just as a, this is over a year old. This is from June of 22, poor date on the back here. And this is from April of 22. Have I had these that long? guess so dang anyway nice kind of you know sinus clearing type of a scent um still doesn't beat Vicks though all right the last well wax and then we'll talk candles I have several uh rose girls I melted zen also in that hard to scent bathroom and this did well I feel like I've melted this one before, or at least a blend with it, maybe. And it didn't do well, but this one actually did well. It did not last very long, though. I'm trying to open it, but these little bags hate me. <laughs> uh, nope. Anyway, nice, clean, fresh smell. Maybe it's just a touch like masculine cologne just a touch not much but clean fresh and then of course vanilla pumpkin marshmallow from rose girls i finished off my mini melter of that again love this scent doesn't matter who what company i mean it's kind of hard to mess up right yeah love it did not get a ton of scent from that but it it wasn't um, overpowering and it did not these were fairly new pours so it did not really have time to cure either next is monster cookie fluff puffs now <laughs> how many of you ordered this because you saw in the Facebook group someone ordered like 30 bags me uh, yeah, that was me. I had to try it since someone loved it that much. And, you know, for a bakery and a vanilla kind of based type scent, it's Monster Cookie and Marshmallow Smoothie is the scent notes. I could smell this, and it smelled nice. Yeah. It's not really super special. But it, although, kind of like on the other hand, it does smell like nothing I've smelled before, so maybe it is special. <laughs> um, yeah, very sweet, like marshmallow with a cookie, like a sugar cookie note in there. Enjoyed that. Next is Rose Girls, Where the Blue Spruce Grows. And this has her rain scent in it with spruce, bergamot, cedarwood, and floral. So this came off a bit floral for me. I think because there is floral and rain in it, I find her rain more floral than I prefer, but I definitely get that spruce in here and a little bit of cedarwood. So it's a great scent for this time of year. It reminds me of something from my childhood I don't know, maybe someone's house around Christmas. <laughs> or almost, I hate to say it, but almost like a cleaner, like pine salt. 
I don't know. I, I can't place place where I know this, where it reminds me of, but something from my childhood. <laughs> um, and Johnny Appleseed. This is nothing like Scentsy's Johnny Appleseed. The scents are oak moss, amber, campfire, marshmallow, and apple cider donut. And again, I wanted so much from this. And I've got very little scent. Maybe it's my nose. I don't know, but this sounds so good. But I barely got anything. I get a little bit of apple and a little bit of like a apple cider donut, but no amber, no campfire, no no moss. I don't know. I'm really beginning to wonder if something's wrong with my nose. And then, speaking of something wrong with my nose, because we were congested, um, we tried Dr. Mario, which is mint, eucalyptus, camphor, musk, lavender, and chamomile. And I think I like this maybe a little better than the Frozen Frozen from Destination Wax as far as like a sinus clearing kind of uh, scent. Um... Again, didn't seem very strong. I, I, I'm mm, trying to find a good way to say this. I'm finding with Rose Girls, the majority of scents are not that strong. Maybe they need to cure, and I need to just be patient. But I really would think that that would come across very strong and not need many in warmers. And I had two cubes in two warmers and it was strong like right out of the gate well it was medium right out of the gate <laughs> and then just fizzled out pretty soon pretty quick um okay and then two candles one from bath and body works autumn i love this scent um i usually get at least one every autumn it is bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, and fir balsam. And the wicks are gone and the wax is still there because I use candle crocs and candle lamps for many reasons. But I feel I get more scent out of using those than I do of burning the candle. This has no scent left. I can slightly smell it in the lid still, but... Autumn is a great um, eucalyptus apple kind of scent with some fur needle in there, fur balsam, fur balsam. And then, last but not least, one Hallmark's candle, Toasted Vanilla Pumpkin. And this was also on my Hallmark's like candle stand thingy, <laughs> um, just for its looks because of how cute it is for the fall season, but now we're all Christmas. This was from fall of 22, so it did have some time to cure. I really like this scent. And what I did with Homeworks <laughs> is I pop it in the freezer, I put it upside down in the freezer at least overnight, maybe a couple days, depending on when I get back to it. I pull it out, I dump it upside down on with the lid off onto a, um, paper towel or something like that bang it a few times lightly and the candle pops out I let it defrost they're on the same you know napkin or whatever and it basically kind of cracks on its own and I divide the 14 18 how many ounces are in here the 18 ounces of wax among two different empty candle vessels and I may put it in like one in the living room, one in the kitchen or whatever at the same time or I just get two melts out of it for days each time, each half. I hope that makes sense. Am I making sense? <laughs> okay. Ooh, don't do that. So that wraps up nonsensey for the week. For two weeks worth, I'm sorry. 
And we will be back talking about Cincy next week. And I'm recording this way early this time. Hopefully I will have a Cincy haul for you if I haven't already shown it from December 1st. No, I probably won't have it when this goes up. Oh well, okay. Thank you for stopping by. Um, and I hope everyone has a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.